everybody, this is Brian from Carving is Fun, and today we're going to carve a very simple and fun bear here. Um, this is a pretty easy project for beginners, and should take you between maybe uh, 30 to 50 minutes to complete. Um, originally I had made my bear looking like, like so, but I really liked um, how Doug Linker did his bear face, so I took a little bit of inspiration from there. Um, go, go ahead and check out his bear tutorial video too after this one. It's, it's pretty good. All you're going to need for this project is going to be a one by one by two and a half inch block of wood, your pencil to make marks, and your preferred whittling knife. Since I'm probably going to be carving a little bit faster than most of you all here, I'm going to have a picture in the left hand side over here to show you what the current step is. All right, let's get everything cleaned up here. First step that we're going to do is create these little marks on here. I'm going to have a picture on the screen right now to show you the measurements of where each of the lines are going to be. These are going to just be for reference points while we're going to be carving. All right, so first step, I like to start from the head and go uh, work our way down. Reason is um, I want my blade to be at its maximum sharpness because we're going to be cutting uh, across the green here and that can be a little bit rougher on blades. So first we're going to start off the ears. Uh, we're going to make a a stop cut halfway um, in the middle of the uh, top corner of the block of wood um, and then we're going to start cutting um, working our way down to the line making the stop cuts. You don't need to do all of them at once you can just make um, a couple cuts and are like one stop cut and your work way down. Uh, it doesn't you don't have to do it all in one go. Uh, it, most of you with um, regular pocket knives and whatnot might be the easiest route to do. Just do uh, a couple quick little cuts on there. Alright, and then once you got the the ears um, roughed out there, I personally like to flip the wood over and then starting from about this line right here, make a little mark on the back side over here. Um, I don't want to go any further than that for this part. I like to trim up the back side of the ears. So we're basically going to be going from uh, just taking the corners off. The reason why I'm doing this is when we start shaping up the ears and the rest of the head, it's less material that we have to cut through. So I just like to bring my ears forward just a little bit like that. Alright, so now we're going to start to uh, doing some quick shaping on the ears. So from what I like to do is uh, shape off the bottom part of the ear. So just start making a quick round out on it. So starting going along with this line that we have going on here, I'll make a quick little stop cut and then I'll come back from the other side and create a little V cut like so. So you're gonna be taking off just a little itty bitty wedge right there. And then do the same thing for the other side. So basically you have the bottom of the ears uh, starting to get roughed out and then I'm going to do the same thing to the top here. And I just follow that shape that we already have going on right there. And the side right here. So just like what we did at the bottom, I'm going to create little chunks on the um, on the parts where the ears are going to connect to the head just to start rounding it out. Now from here, um, before I start shaping the ears off a little bit more, I like to start getting the forehead uh, uh, shaped up. So we're going to start from the halfway point here, but for me what I'm going to do Instead of starting at halfway, I'm going to move just a little bit off towards the front of the face a little bit more and create a stop cut. Reason why is I like to leave a little bit of extra wood to work with near the front because it can, um, it allows you to have extra wiggle room in case you mess up or you want to add more rounded details. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking uh, the forehead down to this line right here that was created and uh, starting to create the shelf of the nose and the front of the face. All 
And there we go. So now that I created the shelf of the face, I'm just gonna take a little bit of wood off the sides right here. Just to start rounding the, the muzzle just off to the side a little bit more. Make, make it look a little bit less blocky. So create a couple of stop cuts and do very similar to what we did to create the ears and just round off the top of that muzzle. There you go, and just touch it up a little bit as you see fit. As I say with, with all my other uh, carving videos, you do not need to be perfect. Uh, imperfections are perfectly acceptable. I personally like a little bit of imper imperfections as they make each of my carvings look just a little bit different and unique. All right. So now that we have the top of the, the face um, roughed out. We're gonna start referencing this second line down here. This is the bottom of the chin. I'm gonna create a stop cut on the side there and then do a little bit of a um, cut going straight up into it. This is gonna shape the start shaping the sides of the neck. We don't wanna go too far down, um, probably no further than this line right here. Uh, that way we have some room to leave for the arms. So leave another, do another stop cut right there. And again, take it slow if you have to. I am making bigger cuts uh, for speed of the video. There you go. And then once you have those wedges cut out, do another stop cut going straight down into the neck and then just sweep your knife upwards. We're not gonna fully rough out the bottom of the head at this moment. Um, we're just cutting to make references. All right, so from right here, before we start doing any more work on the uh, top of the head, I like to start defining where the head is. So I'll take uh, my knife and make a little mark along the side of the head. This is gonna represent the neck going along uh, to the back of the head. Do the same thing to the other side. Um, that way I can have a solid reference. You can do the same thing with a pencil if you want. I just find that uh, the knife is easier to do since it's currently in my hand and it usually doesn't rub out so quickly. All right, so what we're gonna do here is just rough out the back of the head. So do the same thing we did to the front, make those little wedge cuts going straight up, or the stop cuts going straight up to that line, make stop cuts into the corner and work your way up to it. And then slightly up the sides right there. Same thing to the other side. There you go. So for the most part your head is kind of roughed out right there. And then from here we're going to start working on the back of the head and rough uh, shaping off the top of the head a little bit more. So where those lines are right there we're going to start focusing on the back of the neck. Make two intersecting uh, V cuts going straight into it or angled cuts in like that. And that way you have like a little bit more of a angle going in. And then I just like to take these corners in right here, start shaping the back of the head and do a cut going up here. Now we're gonna start doing the bottom of the ears. So I like to leave, do a little bit of a corner cut right there and just kind of defining the, the back of the ear right here. So you can see the ear is right there. I'll start doing the same thing to the other side right here. And that way the ear is starting to become more defined. Uh, and then do about the same thing to the top of the head. Do quick little wedge cuts to start separating the ear from the head at the top and creating more of a curved look. Let's see if I can get them evened up a little bit. There we go. So you can see I started doing that and then I'm gonna start actually um, taking down the top of the head, just the hair. I personally like to do it, you don't have to. Um, for me, I kind of like it a little bit. So I just shave off the top of my head right there. This is best done with a very sharp knife. 
like this is this flex cut um, knife I honed it up just before I went to do this little video here always a good idea to hone it up beforehand so now I got the back of my head pretty much shaped out here it'll leave a little bit chunky right there all right so now that we got everything roughed out we're gonna start rounding off some of the features on the face as well as making the muzzle so the ears I'm gonna start off with that um, I'm just gonna bring some of the ear roundness on the top forward more just basically creating a little bevel there just take off little slivers of wood at a time doesn't need to be a lot and then since the ears are kind of pointed I'm going to take in those ears a little bit right there and just start rounding them off so I'll lop off the corner and then I'll just start doing little rounded cuts there same thing to the other side start rounding off the bottoms of the ear a little bit more there you go that one's rounded and then what I'm going to do is start focusing on the muzzle here um, before I start doing too much detail on the front I want to taper the muzzle in a little bit uh, this just creates a bit more of a narrow muzzle and looks a little bit nicer to me so what I'll do is take my knife about halfway right here and I'll start cutting in at an angle so I'm basically cutting in from right here like about like that so you're taking off a little bit right there so I'm gonna do it to show you on the other side here so it's coming in at about that angle right there we're just taking off a little bit of wood that way you can tell that the the muzzles more pointed forward and indexed that way there you go all right, and then what I like to do is take the bottom corners and just start kind of rounding the bottoms out here. You don't need to do too much. I probably took a little bit more off than I want to on this one. But yeah, that'll be fine for right now. This one's gonna be a little bit different than my other ones. All right, and then just round off this part right here. Round off that sharp edge of the wood all right and from here what I like to do yeah I'll take my pencil and show you what, I, what I'm doing here I just create a simple nose it doesn't need to be anything fancy if you want to get fancier with it go right ahead essentially I'm just making a little triangle right there and I'm gonna take the tip of my blade and go in from the top right there and then do this little uh, basically a cut going straight along the line going straight into the wood and what we're going to do here is make use of that cut that we made and just basically shave off the unwanted portion leaving the uh, the nose a little bit more raised so shave it shave it down basically the tip of my blade is riding that cut that I made Cut off that excess there. There you go. And then I'll just cut off the little traces of pencil they have on the wood. And then even out the rest of the wood here. There you go. And if you do it right, you'll have your nose that's a little, a little bit higher than the rest of the, the mouth there. Take off this section here. There we go. Now I have the nose on there. And then I'm just going to start rounding off the sides of the muzzle as well as the, the face there. When you're doing this, be mindful of the wood grain. The wood grain for this piece of wood is going up and down so I don't want to carve up 
along this way because I might accidentally rip off a whole part of the cheek. So make sure you're cutting down across the grain and not uh, against the grain. There we go. And then I'm going to do about the same thing to the top of the head here. Also shave off some of the front of the face here to get rid of some of the, the cuts that I made earlier. There we go. There you go, and pretty much the face is done at this point. All right, I'm gonna darken up some of my lines here so you can see them a little bit better. There we go. So now we're gonna start working on the arms. I found an easy way just to make the arms kind of tuck into the front right here. Um, you can see like the arms go down. I leave a little bit of this chest puff in there for um, just extra detail and it also prevents you from having to do too much extra cutting. So what we're going to do is create a V cut or like just do, do two little press cuts going straight down into a V ending at that line right there. Just basically push the knife into the wood right there. If your wood's a little bit harder, you're probably going to have to do this uh, in a couple um, motions, but I'm using basswood and a pretty sharp knife. so. It should be fine. And then once you make those cuts, I come back in at this angle right here and essentially just kind of outline the top of the arms and a little bit, uh, start doing the outline on the chest. You don't want to go too deep, otherwise you're going to have to uh, do more carving in there around it to even it out. So just do a quick little indentation. All right, and then from here, we're going to start doing the arms on the bottom side here. So the easiest way I found to do this is just go along this line, create a stop cut on the corner there, and then just kind of do a little cut going that way. Um, try not to go too far down, maybe halfway at the most. We do want to leave a little bit down there for the legs. So do another little cut right there. And then you have your Bottoms of your arms kind of defined there. Um, finish up the cut, go pushing into the wood right there, and just doing a quick little slice upwards. And then now the bottom of your arms are pretty much kind of just defined at this point, so you know where they're going to be. All right, so at this point, um, we want our arms to start moving upwards we can uh, highlight it right here so you can see it in the video a little bit better but you see that's the top of our arms and then we're going to want the bottoms of our arms to kind of go at that angle right there so what we're going to do is do a push cut going down into that bottom line i just made there but notice i'm kind of cutting in it cutting at an angle still um it, which is following this kind of angle that i made right there and you should be able to just intersect it. There we go. And basically you're kind of cutting in at an edge angle right there, and you're defining the, the bottom sides of the arms. So cut, again, cut in at an, a slight angle, and then slide up, and you should be able to intersect that angle that you made. There we go. And the arms are kind of flat and facing forward at this point, but um, what we're going to do here is just basically uh, make it a little bit flatter to the body. So we're going to remove kind of like that much right there. So I'm going to take our knife and just follow that line that I made. It will start to intersect the, the chest right here, but that's fine because we're going to further define it here. So there we go. 
and do a quick little line right there. And then slice back. And then the arms start looking a little bit more natural. Um, they start swinging back towards the torso a little bit. Clean that up just a hair. And then at this point, you'll see that it's kind of uh, the chest part that we made is a little bit um, cut away. So we're going to continue that line, but we're going to angle it back a little bit. So this creates more cuts in the chest right there. That way you're defining the, the chest further back. There we go. Then it's pretty much about done for the chest portion there. Just define the neck a little bit more on this one. There you go. So now you have a little bit of puffy chest and then your arms are slightly outlined here. Um, what I like to do is start defining the hands a little bit. So I will do a little slice down the middle because I'm going to separate them out at that point. So I'm going to do a quick little wedge cut going either direction. From there and go up a little bit here. There you go. So the hands are separated at the bottom. Do a same thing at the top, but with a more uh, smaller angle there. And then I will take my knife at the bottom because you're going to have like two triangles right there. I just kind of cut off the, the tips of the triangles of the hands there. That way um, the hands look more like hands. All right, so at this point, you're going to have some blockier shaped arms. And the hands will be slightly separated. What we're going to do here is round off the arms a little bit. So what I like to do, because at this point, you're going to have like kind of sharp angles at these corners right here. I All I'm doing at this point is just taking my knife and then rounding off those angles. Nothing substantial. There we go just slowly or ever so slightly removing that angle so it looks a little bit more rounded. Like so. Probably define the hands a little bit more on this one. So that they're further separated. And then pretty much arms are mostly done there. Then from here, we're going to start rounding off the rest of the body here. Because you can see at the moment, it's kind of chunky right there. And then the front right there. So what I'm going to do is start rounding off the backside. Um, and then tapering it off to the front. Just basically removing some of the more angular look to it. And... Just making it so it looks more defined. There we go. So round that off. I'm going to get a little bit underneath the arms right here. Be careful that you're not doing too much. Um, it's a good idea to make a stop cut underneath the arm when you're going up to it. That way you're not accidentally ripping off too much of the arm. So stop cut under the arm and just sliver off little pieces of wood right there. I notice I made a little bit of a chunky elbow right there. I'm just going to take that off a little bit and then do the same thing to the other side. So take the arm back a little bit by stop cuts up to the arm. There we go. And then Take out that corner a little bit. Oop, I think I went against the green there, so there we go. All right. At this point, we're going to start working on the feet. The easiest way I found to do this is just uh, create little stop cuts down to it. Um, you can, if you want, taper this down a little bit, but I'm just going to do this in sections. Um, do this part right here uh, slowly because if you push down too much, you might blow through the bottom of the wood. 
So I'm just gonna create a little stop cut there. And a little stop cut there. This is defining the corners of the feet and the sides of the legs, essentially. And then where those legs are, create a stop cut and just take a little bit of that wood off right there. And just round it off a little bit. Take off some of the chunkier portions. And your bear is pretty close to being complete. All we're gonna do now is just work on the feet. So first off, just kind of taper off the backside. I like to round off the back a little bit before I do it. And then I am going to start angling this in. Notice I'm not pushing in straight on the side. I'm kind of pushing in more at an angle right here, because I'm not going to take it all the way back. I'm just going to round off the front a little bit. So just round that part off right there. Slight stop cut at an angle, not all the way across towards the back. And then kind of like that. So it's more of a totem shape. I'm going to angle in the size just a hair towards the back right here. just a little bit so you can see it still has a little bit of chunk off to the side I'm gonna get the legs right there yep so just a little bit there the feet right now should probably look like a it's wearing flippers that's fine we're gonna round it off here in a sec so clean this up a little bit There we go. And then before we start making the feet, I like to just separate them out in the, the middle there. Create a quick stop cut right in the middle. Not all the way down uh, to where the legs are going to be, but just a little bit there. And then I'm going to create little wedge cuts to create separation of the, the feet. And then once you got that separation of the feet, just start angling in the, the others a little bit. You can make them as simple as you want. It doesn't need to be super defined unless you want them to. I just like to do little simple ones. So just simple feet going in and taper them down towards the bottom just a little bit. So the bottom of the feet taper down a little bit towards the bottom, and then I'm going to do the same towards the top. Just taper it in just a hair. Not a huge taper, just more rounding off the top. Super simple feet. Nothing too crazy. And then, just as extra detail, I like to add a little bit of minor separation between the front legs. So I'll just do very similar to what I did to the front of the, um, the feet there and create a quick little wedge there. This just makes it look like there's two legs um, in there. All right, so the back side, um, it's a little flat right there. Around here, I like to start tapering it down towards the I'll in a little bit there. And this is just going to define the back of the legs and back of the feet and allow me to add a little bit of detail to where I'm going to put a little bit of the um, uh, kind of a small tail or just um, what looks like a tail. So I'm going to angle in my bottom of my feet just a little bit like that. And then what I'm going to do is actually on that rise that I made, I'll do a push cut into there and then kind of a little triangular cut into it. So it kind of looks like if you hold like this, it looks like a Y. Um, all this is doing is allowing me to do 
very simple or similar to what I did with the the nose and just kind of come in here and create what looks like a little itty bitty tail. Super simple, super easy. And it looks good enough. Clean that up a little bit. There we go. Take it slow. If, uh, if you're having trouble, just use the tip of your knife. You don't need to do much. So there, I have a little bit of a, a tail. Just gonna round it off just a hair. That way it's not a little spike. And then that's pretty much it. Uh, at this point, you can just go ahead and do a little minor detail cleanup, like I'm gonna do right here in the feet. And you can also finish it off with like wood paste or you can paint it completely up to you um but yeah that that's pretty much it quick little easy bear uh done with nothing but a knife all right thanks for watching everybody i hope you have yourself a good one